Hello, I am back with this week's uh, quick hacks and today we are going to talk about tracking Facebook in-app browser in Google Analytics in just three steps. It is very important from a user behavior point of view to know the correct browser type that our user is currently browsing through. And the problem statement that we are going to tackle today is the fact that it is a challenge to track a web page in Google Analytics that is rendered in uh, the Facebook in-app browser. All right, so uh, before we see the implementation setup, first off, the prerequisites are that you have a custom dimension in Google Analytics named as browser type, uh, preferably of a session scope. The second prerequisite is that you have Google Tag Manager implemented on your website. Step one, create a data layer variable that is browser type in Google Tag Manager to track the browser type in Google Analytics. Step two, create a custom HTML tag in GTM and add a code to identify the in-app browser. The code fetches the user agent of the current browser. It is a known fact that Facebook in-app browser has a unique keyword for its identification that is uh, flashing on the screen right now. If any of these keywords is present in the user agent, we set the browser type as Facebook or else we set it to regular and pass it in data layer. The third and the final step is to pass the value of browser type with a page view or an event in Google Analytics. This is all. We are now set to track the Facebook in-app browser in Google Analytics. Although there are two things that you need to ensure. The first one being the custom HTML tag set to identify the in-app browser is triggered before the page view tag. You can use the tag sequencing feature in Google Tag Manager for the same. The second thing that you need to ensure is that the value of browser type is passed in custom dimensions set in Google Analytics admin panel. Once these changes are applied to the website, we can view Google Analytics reports by fetching the browser type custom dimension in various reports wherever necessary and the report of the traffic referred from Facebook will look something like this. So what do you think? It's quite easy, right? Go ahead and implement this in your Google Analytics and start tracking the uh, web pages rendered in Facebook in app browser. Please uh, let me know what works best for you and uh, leave your feedback in the comment section below or feel free to write to me at hello at tatvik.com. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more hacks next week. Uh, see you then.